With a Monster Knockout of Leo Santa Cruz, Geronte Tank Davis went to 24 and O with 23 KO, headlined a pay per view for the first time and created some all important buzz among boxing fans, even the sports world in general. The 25 year old Davis now has belts at 130 and 135 pounds as he successfully defended the WBA regular lightweight title and lifted the WBA junior lightweight title from Santa Cruz. This fight was Gage Davis Tuck against other rising star Teofimo Lopez, who made a statement earlier this month with his victory over Vasil Omachenko. That win earned Lopez three of the four major lightweight belts, along with the WBC franchise belt. It's time for the new generation to come up, and it was me to lead the way for everybody. Lopez's win established him as one of the sport's top attractions, and if ever a massive fight that so obviously needed to be made popped up, it is Gervonta vs. Lopez. But who would emerge victorious in a matchup between them? He's the top dog. He's gonna keep going out there, proving to the world that he is the best. Welcome to Boxing Extra channel, press like and subscribe and let's take a look at a small preview of how it might appear like. Geronte Tank Davis delivered the knockout of the year candidate over 4 division world champion Leo Santa Cruz in the most significant fight of his career. Davis proved that he is one of the most powerful punchers in the sport, with 23 knockouts out of 24 victories. Um, I think I'm the best out there. We just work hand in hand and that's why we came to you know, 24 and 0. And at just 25 years of age, he has the potential to be one of the biggest stars in all of boxing. Teofimo Lopez scored a huge victory over Vasil Lomachenko to capture momentary supremacy at lightweight. Gervonta Davis says Teofimo Lopez got the job done in beating Vasil Lomachenko this month, but his win wasn't convincing in his eyes. Davis saw Teofimo using his superior size to beat the smaller and older fighter Lomachenko by a 12 round decision. Teofimo Lopez Sr. has recently uploaded a video from the past where Davis and Lopez are spotted sparring together. They were yet to turn professional at that point. However, their hunger was still the same. It was one on one sparring with both the boxers, giving it all inside the ring. A lot has changed since that time. Davis and Lopez have evolved highly, and they are two of the biggest elites of the lightweight roster now. Thus, a matchup between them would look very different. It will also determine the divisional best between them. Tank is a rising star in the sport, and now he's got that attention we have to make sure we keep that attention by making the right fights. Davis win over Leo Santa Cruz probably launches him into pound for pound list. He has huge talent and was rolling along. His knockout of Santa Cruz is by far his best win and the only other results worth considering are his wins over Jose Pedraza in 2017 and the washed up Uriorkis Gamboa last year. What an incredible... oh! Oh, down! Goes Gamboa! The young lions are coming and Davis is right there. Teofimo Lopez was the underdog on October 17th against Vasil Omachenko, but at just 23 years old, Lopez was able to outbox the 32-year-old two-time Olympic gold medalist to become the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, which was a historic accomplishment. Right now, these two fantastic fighters are engaged in a battle for lower weight supremacy and for true superstardom. If ever a massive fight that so obviously needed to be made popped up, it is this one. 
Lopez says he may well move up in weight in his next fight, stating how he thinks he will be stronger and more effective as a 140-pounder. But for the sake of a huge mega fight everyone wants to see, Lopez must stick around for a fight with Tank. Unless, of course, Davis is willing to move up in weight himself. Both fighters have genuine A-plus skills and abilities, while both men also have genuine appeal and star quality. Both guys can also score devastating, eye-catching KOs. Tank feels that Lopez lacks the full package as a fighter, and he'd like to fight him if he stays at 135. I'm not ducking dodging nobody, as you know there ain't no safety on this Glock. In reacting to a comment from Teofimo about not being interested in fighting him, Davis says it's likely because he is big for the 135 pounds division. You can see what Davis is driving at when he talks about Teofimo lacking the whole package. Teofimo has major flaws in his game. No inside game, can fight going backward, uncomfortable when being pressured. What we saw Lomachenko expose in the second half of the fight with Teofimo was a fighter that has too many holes to stay a champion for long. Without top fights, Lopez is going to wind up like a lot of one hit wonders. Although there are several other prodigies to grab the title. Lopez and Davis are clearly the top gunners. The lightweight division is teeming with youthful boxers that are on the brink of superstardom. Floyd Mayweather, Davis promoter, says he plans for Davis to fight two or three times in 2021 and at least one of those fights should be against another of the young lions quartet at lightweight, Teofimo Lopez, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. All he has done was beat the fighters that was put in front of him. Same thing that I done. Lopez would obviously be the biggest and best of these bouts. I'm ready for, for everything, you know, it goes to show that I can hurt you with my right, I can hurt you with my left. However, a matchup between them will not be the easiest. I believe I have, uh, you know, the skills to, to beat anyone they have in front of me. From having a contract settlement to several other factors, the lightweight thriller would require several things to fall into place. So it would be unfair to expect it to happen anytime soon. Two young champions with different gifts facing off. I always stay in shape and I'm ready. Could be one of the biggest fights in all of boxing. They know I'm great. I just gotta show it. And a great matchup too. 